All right, in this video, we're gonna solder on this inductor here. And this guy's a bit tricky because there's so much copper and it does suck a lot of heat out of your iron. So it's a bit more difficult to solder this guy, but the approach is exactly the same. For something like this, this part, uh, it's okay to crank up your iron heat to maybe uh, 800 degrees or so Fahrenheit, around 350 Celsius. And as long as you put your iron down afterwards, no problem, you're not gonna damage your tip. So let's start same way as we've always done lots of uh, different parts. So we're gonna start by blobbing a bunch of solder onto one of these pads. For all of these big types of devices, you want to get a very broad part of the iron onto the tip like this. So not like this, you wanna be down right almost parallel to the board with your iron so you get lots of heat on that board. Now that I got my blob, I'm gonna angle this in a way that I can again keep a broad part of my soldering iron on the pad. And I'm gonna get that even started even while I'm setting up here. So this is heating up that pad. Make sure that you get the part correctly oriented. And I'm using a slightly wider tweezer here as well. So same sort of thing, you drop it on the board, get a good hold of it and start sliding it in. You have to kind of wiggle it a bit because it's going to start taking that solder and sucking that heat away. And slowly we're going to move, kind of jiggle it a little bit over to get it centered on the pads like so, the whole time keeping the iron on there. And once it looks pretty good, I'm actually going to come up top here, just press down slightly, make sure I've got good heat on there when I think I'm pretty good and take that away. And you have to wait a little bit longer on this guy because all that heat is going to be trapped in those pads and it's going to take a while for that solder to solidify. Okay. So we can relax, just gently touch it, make sure we're okay. So now we'll come to the other side. Uh, just double check that we're nice and flat. And get ready to do the other side. So here we're going to heat up over here. And... We're gonna start dabbing solder on the other side. And we're gonna wait until the heat flows through. We might get a bit of it going just by touching onto that, the iron there. But what we should see is the heat flow all the way through this pad and be able to melt the solder on this side. So your iron is not actually heating up to 800 degrees at this point, maybe on the outside edge, but Pretty much it's not, it's just trying to heat up this pad. And the whole board's gonna get warm because this is all flowing through that particular pad. So we're sitting on here, patiently waiting. Someone wants to time this. It's probably about 30 seconds before we're gonna start to actually see that solder be able to melt on this side. Okay, so there we go now. Now we're starting to melt on this side. So now we know that we've heated the whole pad. So we can dab on a bunch of solder. Like so, we're heating on both sides and that should be good there. So it's definitely flowed around, which means it's definitely flowed underneath. So we'll take this away and again, give it a few seconds. You can see it go from the shiny look to the slightly more cloudy look. And then once that's good, come back to the other side because then you always want to touch up the side that you started with because it always, because you're moving the, so the part at that time, you're not going to have the best joint so same sort of principle here. Get that thing heated up. Get lots of time to heat through. Can add a little solder on there. And I can see it flowing around there. You could wait to see it flow all the way through. We can move the iron a bit. Come all the way through on this side. And I can see both sides are molten at this point. So that is... Oops, sorry folks. That's good to go there. Take away. You can see the, iron, the solder is nice and float all the way through there, and that's doing a big inductor. Okay. Watch out because it's going to be hot for a little while. 